Hello students, good morning to all of you. Hocus focus, everyone focus. Are you ready? Because our objective for today is to construct a model of the human chest cavity and describe what each part of the constructed lung model represents. We have a special muscle called the diaphragm. The diaphragm sits at the bottom of your rib cage. It is a big muscular sheath underneath the lungs. You breathe in and out about 20,000 to 30,000 times a day. The diaphragm makes it all happen. Your diaphragm is the main muscles you use when you breathe. To show you what a diaphragm looks like, we are going to construct a model of a chest cavity. At first, you must have your bottle ready and your cutter. Be sure to take precautions to avoid cuts later on. Cut the bottle into halves. This represent your chest cavity. Use a pair of scissors to clear the edges. Then bore a hole at the center of the bottle cup. Good enough for the straw to pass through the hole. The middle. This will represent the true bronchus or the bronchi. Then attach the two separated straws using a glue gun. If you do not have any, you can just use a scotch tape or any other tape you wish to use. Next, attach it to another straw that represents your trachea or the windpipe. Then Get two party balloons that will represent your both lungs. And attach it on the straw. the bottle, put the cup, a glue, just to make sure that no air can pass through it. Then get another balloon. This will represent the muscle in your diaphragm that moves when you inhale or Exhale. Oh. Here now is the finished model of your chest cavity. For some questions to answer, what happens as you pull down the balloon at the bottom of the model? Let us have some scientific demonstration. The plastic bottle is your rib cage, and the balloon represents your lungs, and this at the bottom is your diaphragm. It's what makes breathing happen. And for the next question, how does the movement of diaphragm cause the air to go in and out of the lungs? When you are breathing, the diaphragm moves downward. 
It lowers the pressures inside your lungs. It leaves extra space or vacuum, so the air has no options but to rush through your mouth into your lungs. So this ends our lesson for today. And for your evaluation, multiple choice. Choose the correct answer from the choices given. For your further study, you can go to the link provided. Goodbye! See you on our next lesson!